Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And if you guys are looking for undervalued investments, this is, this is the spot to be. Click subscribe, join our community. Uh, let's ride this commodity bull market up together. And today I'm gonna go over market conditions. Market conditions are obviously uh, something that's very important for us. That's really what gives us the tailwinds behind our investment. And I, I think that we, we well, the Federal Reserve, uh, they're painted into a corner. They're screwed. And this is going to manifest itself in a much lower dollar. And, and our investments on this channel, if you're in the commodity sector, uh, we know that they're cheap. We know that uh, the sector is... Uh, not only cheap in relationship to stocks and all these other things, uh, but they are driven by the dollar. And if all the pressure is going to manifest itself, if everything's going to manifest itself with a lower dollar, uh, commodities are going to be probably the best spot to be. Uh, you can throw darts at whatever you want in terms of what's going to work. You can throw darts and just be like, well, it's going to be oil. It's going to be uranium. Uh, it's going to be some sort of agricultural product. It's going to be gold and silver over here. I mean, you can, you can literally buy all this stuff, and that's what I'm doing. And uh, with that dollar declining and with how they're positioned, and what I mean by how they're positioned, they're, they're, they're going to have to try to keep rates low. If they don't keep rates low, they're going to bankrupt themselves. And this is kind of like the final stage. This is it. And I, I hear people, I've, I've watched some other channels, uh, they're talking about deflation. Guys, we're not going to get deflation. The, the, that is like impossible. They will literally print as much money as they possibly can, flat out. They'll just say, print it. I don't care. Uh, the deflation scenario cannot exist. It, it, so the system continually goes, uh, if they were not to print money, uh, you would have deflation. That's like the system default. It, it defaults through deflation. But the thing is, who would default in a deflation? You'll just print money. These guys are bankrupt. Like, you guys do realize that, like, the pension system, all this stuff, they have nowhere near that amount of money. It's not even close. They're just going to print like hell and, and, and cover all the gaps and holes and, and paper it all over. That's, that's what's going down. They can't have interest rates go up. So uh, they're just going to buy more bonds. They're going to do more QE. They're going to keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying. And it's going to be quadrillions, not trillions, quadrillions. It could potentially be that. So I'm looking at these market conditions and I'm going, well, I'm just going to stick my money in commodities and just sit there. Uh, you want physical metals. That's kind of a given. So get your physical metals and then get your, uh, get your commodities to try to grow your wealth. That's it. And then just sit on them. Sit on them and wait. It's that easy. So let's jump in here. Let's do market conditions. This is nothing uh, too extravagant here, guys. So again, all the pressure. Um, I think they're backed into a corner where they need to print money and hold interest rates down. All that pressure is going to manifest itself with pressure on a lower dollar. And when we have that lower dollar, we win, we win, and we win. Commodities win. Everything wins that we're in. We just win. I mean, this is going to be, we might as well just make t-shirts that says we win on it. And I know in the short term, people are, they want to see their accounts go vertical. And that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, everybody wants that. Uh, they want to see their account look like a, a Bitcoin graph, and that's actually extremely rare. Uh, Bitcoin's going to actually go down, in my opinion, but uh, that's that's what everybody wants. But here's here's the dollar. I'm kind of zoomed in on it, and it has been going down just recently. Uh, we've got a big chart break back here, and it is coming down, coming down, coming down, and. That dollar is going to go lower. You better be out of the dollar and into your favorite investments. That's all I'm going to say. Here's the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. 
Yields are going higher. People don't want this crap. They don't want bonds. I don't know who would want a bond. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know who the heck would who would want a bond right now. But I'm sure they're in there. I'm sure they're messing around buying stuff in here. It is still in an uptrend. Uh, it does look, you know, the 50 day, the 50 days cross, the 200 days, the golden cross. Probably going to go a lot higher. Treasury yields that are. And if yields go too high, it's going to put pressure on the dollar. And they're going to have to, it's going to put pressure on them to try to, to buy, <laughs> to buy bonds and hold yields down. That's what's going to do. And it's going to be very interesting to see what, what they do. Dow to gold ratio. It's been going a little bit higher here and then it's been coming back a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be at 18 for forever. Uh, I think gold and silver, you're going to see gold and silver really start to take off. And if they are manipulating it, I don't know if they are, they're going to pay the price, a big price, because it's going to move a lot. It's going to rip it. And stocks are not going to rip it. They don't like inflation. They don't like higher interest rates. Stocks, that is. And we know this on this channel. We know that that they don't like that. We know that that they're going to come under pressure and it's going to go sideways at best. And if you look at any of the other market conditions like the gold to copper ratio and it's declining, uh, it's signaling that commodities are going to absolutely crush it. And they have been crushing it. Same with platinum to gold ratio. There's the platinum to gold ratio. It's obviously got the the 50 day cross in the 200. It's coming on up. And platinum's going to outperform gold probably. So the the best thing we can do here is, is to do nothing. You, you get your investments, you get your commodities, you get your sectors, you get your physical metals. And you just hold. You just hold, you just wait. You be super patient. And you watch all the people around, you know, and governments and all these things, you, you watch them just do stupid stuff. Over and over, repeating it over and over and over and over. Uh, yeah, let's let's go let's go do multiple tri uh, trillions of dollars in stimulus. I mean, okay, <laughs> um, you're gonna see uh, all these pensions, all these people. They're just gonna get printed money back. That's all it is, Oop. bunch of printed money, bunch of stuff that's not gonna be worth worth very much. Uh, and and. That's, that's what's going to happen. Policemen and their pensions and firemen and military. and I've seen what they get. They get a lot. I mean, they get a lot. They get, in my opinion, probably too much. And that's why we're in the situation we're in. Is uh, You get some thousands of dollars every single month for the rest of your, of your life. Uh, you get it for 30, 40, 50 years of your life, only working 20 years of it. Uh, and you get paid more than... Uh, and vice presidents do in some of these officer positions. And they're not even that high. Oh fives. All that stuff's gonna manifest itself and they're not gonna get paid with, with money that's worth anything. We've taken on far too much in terms of debt, in terms of obligations, and it's all, all that pressure is gonna put it's it's gonna manifest manifest itself at the dollar. And that dollar is gonna is gonna eat it. Dollar is gonna go down, 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 down. And these people who think we're gonna have deflation. Oh, it's it's the debt, guys. Every single country has massive amounts of debt. They, they, I don't know of any country that's that's defaulted through a deflationary def, uh, collapse. Like I don't know of any. I mean, I, I they've all had hyperinflations. It, that's the the path that they take. That's the path that they choose, uh, which is fine. Because I'm going to get a free house out of it. And maybe you guys should too. Because if you have a loan, pay it back with worthless dollars. Let them do whatever the heck they want. Buy gold and silver. Buy, buy these things that have intrinsic value. You know, stay away from things that don't, they're not worth anything. Like Bitcoin. What? Bitcoin's a joke. I'm sorry. I, I do not like Bitcoin. I do not like cryptocurrencies. They, they're hor they have no utility. They, they, they absolutely horrible what they are supposed to be good at. They're bad. 
it's not like my you're gonna have some 60 70 year old guy just say oh yeah let's let's go tr- transact some uh some bitcoin then what do you have to do pay do a 1099 every time you transact it's stupid stupid anyway all it's gonna do is manifest itself on the dollar and when that dollar declines you better be in stuff that goes up to counteract it so if you guys like this content give me a thumbs up a little bit of rambling today trying to get my thoughts back together uh, and, and this market conditions, it, I mean, the dollar's, the dollar's not going to do well. It is not going to do well. And the way I'm positioned, I've thought a lot about it. I'm positioned very well. I'm very happy about that. Uh, and the channel's positioned very well. So if you guys, you know, copper, all these minerals, you're going to do very well. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.